Okay, every day we bring you something called the big eye. It's a big idea that hopes to solve some serious problems in the world. This one is a really big problem. It's a power problem. One out of every four people on the planet, that's over 1.6 billion people, don't have electricity. They light their lives by directly burning fuels, mostly kerosene, but also diesel, wood, coal, etc. That's not great for pollution. It's not great for efficiency either. On average, uh, and here's the thing, they spend about 5% of their income on these fuel sources. Overall, burning these types of fuel produces 190 million tons of carbon dioxide every year. That's the equivalent of 30 million cars. Now, LED technology is seen as a promising alternative, but for widespread uh, performance and, and uh, uh, issues, quality issues, things like circuitry and batteries and, and, and charging and ruggedness and durability, uh, th there are issues that have to be contended with. Inventor Stephen Katsaros feels that he has addressed these issues and more. He's done it at a favorable price. He's joining us now with a light bulb that can be powered using solar technology. Uh, good to see you, uh, Stephen. Thank you for being with us. Is this as simple as it sounds? Well, it, uh, it, uh, the technology is fairly simple, but the uh, business model behind it is uh, quite intricate. We need to roll this out uh, across the large uh, part of the world. Hold that up and show it to us and tell me how it works. Well, um, this is the basic product. There's four solar panels around the outside. There are five LED lights on the inside. You set it outside during the course of a day. You bring it inside, turn on the switch at the top, and the light bulbs, the LEDs light up. There's a battery that's inside that's a nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery that stores the, uh, the energy until you use it at night. And what would the idea be, that people can use these and they're, in, they're relatively inexpensive or, or they will be? Uh, yes, yeah, so how people will use this, it's, it's, it's aimed at the 1.6 billion people that, uh, that actually uh, uh, use kerosene now to, for, for lighting their homes, but yet make it so inexpensive that the 2.8 billion people that live on less than $2 a day can afford it. The, um, the price right now on our website, which is nocaro.com, is uh, uh, $15 for the samples. However, w when we're dealing with NGOs and large volume distributors, it's around $6 right now. And how low can you get it? We're working on, uh, on, on substantial cost decreases with not only this model, but future models. We can bring the price down long term. Well, how much? maybe in the 450 to five dollar range depending on model but i will note that now, the six dollar price is 40 yeah is 40 percent off 40 percent less than our nearest competitor right but the, the nearest competitor doesn't matter it's the the, the 1.6 billion people you're talking about at what point does it become absolutely uh, uh, useful and valuable to them what's the price uh, that you pay for a light bulb that gives you lighting the equivalent of what you would have paid for in kerosene or wood or whatever the case is tell me where yeah. what what number does this become uh, the thing that lights up uh, the developing world uh, yeah as your lead in pointed out five percent of the income of some of these families most of these families goes towards uh, fuel for lighting so the break-even is actually about five months after five months of use with this product because there's no running cost uh, then they've broken right. even they're actually coming out ahead all right and how long should this bulb uh, last if you use it every day there is one component that wears out as we're all aware of there's the battery the battery is designed to be re replaceable it just simply unscrew the cover and pop out the battery the uh, the product itself should last around five years all right and the battery should last about how long about 300 to 500 charges it just depends on on usage in in the field and uh, a charge would give you about how much light or how long the very conservative number is two hours per one day's charge However, if you charge it for two days, it would last for four hours. It has the storage capacity. All right, so in <coughs> other parts of the world, it would be about three hours, four hours. Okay, so you the, the way to make this worthwhile is that, it, obviously, if it gets adopted to the degree to which you can manufacture lots of them and, and as you said, bring that cost down from the sample price of uh, $15 or whatever down to, you know, $6 or, or something like that, 
uh, how do you get to that point? I guess you started with this when we when I first introduced you. You yeah. said the business model is where it becomes interesting. How do you get there? Yeah. Um, well, s slight uh, just a point to m to make is that we're currently at six dollars. Uh, for our NGO okay. and dis distributor price. Um, I go to China often. I go there every two months. I've been there 20 times. I work directly with the factories. I have business relationships. We've set up our uh, operating entity out of Hong Kong because that's where uh, it's right in the back door of Hong Kong where these large markets are. So we've done everything we can to crush the price down to a point that it can be afforded, that it's affordable to these 1.6 billion people. All right, well, we'll keep uh, an eye on it. We hope that works. It'll be great to have uh, people able to get light in their houses without having to burn something uh, in order to do it. Good, uh, good work there, Stephen. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. I, it's a real honor. Appreciate it. Pleasure. All right.